Recently, there was a delegation of foreign envoys that visited Kashmir, and uh, that has sparked a huge debate about the relevance of the entire uh, visit itself. Now, some people say that it was designed by the government, whereas others feel that it is necessary for uh, delegations like this to visit and get a sense of what is happening there actually on ground. So joining me today is the Mexican ambassador to India, Mr. Federico Salas, and he was also a member of the delegation there. So let us understand what his experience was when he went to Jammu and Kashmir. All right, I'll ask you about uh, your own experience of visiting that piece of land. Uh, but one of the accusations has been that it was completely designed by the government. So were you a part of what your critics would like to say, a tool of propaganda? Or were you there to genuinely understand what was the reality on ground, sir? Well, I, I wouldn't say it was a, you know, obviously it was designed by the, by the Indian government. We, this was an invitation by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to, to visit uh, Jammu and Kashmir. The program was organized by them. Uh, you know, could we have done things differently? Well, maybe some things could have been done differently. Probably we could have stayed there a bit more time so that we could, you know, have more time to do many other things and observe many other things and go to different other places that we were at. But nonetheless, I think even though it was it was short and brief and compressed uh, in in time and, and meetings, I think it was important enough for us to, to go there. I don't think there was any attempt at manipulation or at, uh, at uh, you know, uh, hiding any kind of information. So what was your experience of visiting Jammu and Kashmir? Well, you know, for me, it was, it was a very interesting one because, as I said, we had the opportunity to meet with different actors of, of, of life in Jammu and Kashmir. We met with uh, members of the business community, members of the press, your colleagues uh, there, some members of civil society, plus the authorities of Jammu and Kashmir. We met with the president of the High Court, with the general in uh, Srinagar, who is in charge of the military uh, operations and security in the area, uh, very much concerned with the whole question of you know the uh, with the border with uh, with Pakistan, and also with the chief secretary of the government in uh, in Jammu, because the uh, the capital changes. For the winter, it goes to Jammu, where the weather was much more pleasant, uh, warmer than it was in Srinagar. So, I mean, th that was very important. It, it did give us a kind of a, an overall vision of, of different perceptions. Uh, we heard many dissenting views as to what is going on, but I think there were some some common some common denominators which I think should be highlighted. One of them is that people feel that, of course, after August last year and the decision to revoke 370, there was a uh, an economic impact, a negative impact on on the region, but uh, and they're uh, of course expecting that new measures will be taken, or that there will be a roadmap that uh, Delhi will come up with that uh, will help improve the situation as as time goes by. You you also had a uh, <laughs> meeting with the national security advisor. Uh, how would, how would you analyze? Uh, his comments or whatever his briefing was with regards to the situation in Kashmir, are you satisfied? Uh, what is your own analysis of what you saw on ground and what you heard from the Indian side? Well, the meeting with the National Security Advisor was, it wasn't really so much of a briefing by him, but it was kind of an informal conversation. And I think that he reinforced some of the things that we heard uh, while we were there uh, from the local authorities. I think that he gave us kind of a broader context but again, I think that what, for me at least, what I see is the explicit willingness and uh, intention of the Indian government to address many of the problems that are that are happening in the in the region as fast as possible and in the most expedient manner that that can be done. And uh, of course, that remains to be seen. But the, you know, but, but there's no reason why we should be doubting that 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 willingness is there and that, uh, that there's a. Uh, there's a sincerity in the, in, in, the, in doing that. No, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, but do you think that uh, you know the foreign media or a section of foreign media has not been very fair with regards to the actual scenario there? Would you also blame some of the articles or some of the reporting that has been done, uh, which gave you a completely different sense compared to when you went there and saw yourself what was happening there? Well, my impression is that, th that th there has been an evolution. That things have been changing. Uh, Probably, if you had been there last September or October, it would have been a very different impression from the one that we got now. And as I said, you, you, you know, there's obviously a need to get a fuller picture. But I think that that's why I said that it's probably 
it behooves the present uh, authorities of, of Jammu and Kashmir to open up to, to uh, you know, further vision by the foreign media to see what is happening today. And I think my impression is that things will be different. So finally, uh, Mr. Ambassador, you have been talking to the government, you have been talking to uh, the officials of the you know, foreign ministry. Uh, what is your uh, analysis, to sum up, uh, you know, what is your analysis with regards to the intentions of the Indian government? Well, as I said, I think my perception is that the intentions are in the right direction. Uh, many of the things that I, that I heard from the authorities, both in, uh, in, in Jammu and the authorities here in Delhi, are uh, with, you know, with a sense of, of bringing Jammu and Kashmir up to uh, uh, you know, the, uh, normalize the situation, uh, addressing issues such as job creation, especially for young people, especially, and with, this, with, with a special eye and concern so that these people are not recruited for activities which may be you know, terror-related. Uh, the question of education, the question of health services, <coughs> excuse me, the question of infrastructure, reviving the economy, attracting tourism, all of this, of course, nobody can say that these are uh, you know, bad ideas. They're good ideas. The question is how they're going to be implemented and when. And this is still something that you know, we, this is something that we talked to them about when we were there, the, you know, that there's a roadmap that should be there and that it should be there probably as soon as possible. Uh, Mr. Master, thank you so much for talking to us. So the Mexican ambassador clearly saying that he's very satisfied in the way things are going and he's very hopeful about the situation in Jammu and Kashmir. With Vijay Vivek, it's Anilesh Kumar for Republic in Delhi.